my father is the only boy in the entire town of Yelichka who survived the war. He was nine years old when the Germans closed the Cheder, put them in ghettos, and then through many concentration camps, one of the only children in entire Poland to survive the war. He told me, when I came out at 14, even I knew less than your kids in Beragoyle. I forgot how to daven, I forgot Ivra. I went to public school. And a couple of days into the school year, the teacher comes over to me in front of the whole class. And he says, Wolf, you have nobody in the world. Let me baptize you. And all your classmates here will be your brothers and sisters. My father told me, I came ein kick of the Hevre. So this is an einzig kind. I looked around at my potential brothers and I decided I'm better off being an only child. And that was the last day of school. From there, he joined the group to Bratislava, which was the main central place where all the refugees of Europe came. And from there, the Jewish agency arranged groups of youngsters going to the kibbutzim, to the anti-religious kibbutzim, Shomer Atzair. There was one woman, her name was Recha Sternbuch. Her grandson, Reb Shia Perla, is here in our room. She arranged a group that went to ex to yeshiva, and my father to the liking to that group. And he went to France to ex The rest is history. I stand here today, my siblings, my children, my grandchildren, because one woman cared to take one child and give him, put him into yeshiva. We have close to 10,000 children in public school, not after the war, today, right here in Queens, where we have everything, beautiful homes, beautiful houses, beautiful yeshivas, beautiful shuls. How can that be? Most of these children have a rich Bukharian heritage. My friend, Yossi Hoch was just here, together with Bernie Schaff from the Living Queens. It's a site in Queens that you see every morning, mothers in Shetlach taking their children, some of them with yarmulkes, to public school. And nobody says, boo, have we gone mad? Have we lost our mind? How can that be in today's world? And do you know what public school means? A teacher in Vera Goyle tells me we are three sisters. My two sisters went to public school. Both of them are married to Italian Goyim. When my parents saw what's going on, they sent me to Vera Goyle. My husband learned in the meal. Rabbi Sai, tonight we have in this room the Gedoyle Israel. We have the people who are in a position to make a change. We have the Bukharian community who came out here because it's Bukharian children, it's our children. We have to put an end to that. This year, we are the threshold of Tov Shiyam Pei, which stands for Tech Noise Public School. These days are over. And we are well on our way. Our dinner chairman today, Av Yaniv Merav and his brother, Abilan Merav, they have this organization, unbelievable, Chazak, where they go to the public school. They have programs, after school programs, Sunday programs. They talk to the parents. They have brought hundreds of children to yeshivas. And the yeshivas are there. We have Beragoyle. We are very, very happy to have 450 children. 450 children? We should have a couple of thousand children. Tonight, we will make it happen. And I want to put my money where my mouth is. My partners and I, 
will give out of all the pledges that came in another five hundred thousand dollars to match to match what will be raised here tonight on top of the pledges. And I want to finish with telling you what Rabbi De Ibn Bekur, the Choyvas Halvavas, the Shulchan Aruch of how a Jew has to live, of his Ashkafas and of his Midas, writes at the end of his Sefer, he says, You should know my brother, even if you'll do everything I said in my Sefer, and you'll come to Madrig of almost a Novi. You don't come close to the person who brings the children of Hashem back to him. Because all the schusim, their children, their grandchildren, at Safkal Adurs are yours. We are coming now three, four days before Rosh Hashanah. We'll come in front of the Rabban Shalom. My name will be called Riven Ben Gittel. And I'll say, Rabban Shalom, I stood here tonight and I did something about you children. Please. Take care of my children. And the bunch who benched us with a good gibbench, your Ashnaz Gulavish will thank you.